In this video I want to show you how to connect a MIDI controller to the EOS software and use it as a motor fader wing. The first step is to open the shell settings. There we go to the network section and try to remember the IP address. Then we go down and check that UDP strings in OC is checked and set the OC version to 1.0. The next step is to open the EOS software. In the EOS software we go to Setup and Show Settings. In the Show Settings we go to Show Control and enable String RX and String OCTX. Then we open Luminosos, go to the right side menu and to the Settings tab and in the connection to EOS settings enter the IP address from the shell settings. Then we should check that OC version is set to 1.0 and see that the connection is successful. If we now add a Fado bank block from the first tab in Luminosus, we can see that the Fado bank block in Luminosus is connected to the EOS software. So if we move a slider here, it moves also on the EOS. The next step is to connect the MIDI controller to the Luminosos and we do that by opening the right side menu, go to settings and there to the MIDI section. We tap map MIDI to control once, then touch the slider in the GUI and then move a slider on the MIDI controller. We repeat that for all other sliders and buttons to connect them to Luminosos. So we tap Map MIDI to control once, tap a button in the GUI and then push a button on the MIDI controller and they are connected. I will do that for the last two faders and I have to repeat that for every button and slider because every MIDI controller is different. But now we can see that the MIDI controller is connected to Luminosus and if I move a slider on the MIDI controller it moves in Luminosus. And because Luminosus is connected to the EOS, it also moves in the EOS software. You can still use the sliders in the GUI of Luminosus and the motorized faders on the MIDI controller react correspondingly. And of course, you can still use the faders in the EOS software. The last step to have a fully functional MIDI controller is to connect the page up and down buttons. And we do that by tapping Map MIDI to Control push the plus button in the GUI and then push a button on the MIDI controller. We repeat that for the minus button and can then switch the pages with the buttons in the bottom right on the MIDI controller. Of course, the motorized faders are jumping to the right positions when you change the page. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this software is useful for you.